Okay, now we're going to look at converting from parametric equations to Cartesian equations. So parametric equations, where we have two separate equations, one for x and one for y, into Cartesian equations, where we've got x and y linked in one equation. So we need to eliminate the parameter, eliminate t in the first case. So how can I eliminate t? Well, I'm going to make one equation equal to t. So if I start with my x equation, if I plus 3 to both sides, so we start with x equals t minus 3. If I add 3 to both sides, x plus 3 equals t. So I've made the equation t equals, and then t equals x plus 3, and I'm going to substitute it in for the t in the y equation. So that will give me y equals 7 minus 2, substituting in x plus 3 for t. So now I have eliminated t. And we can just simplify this a bit by expanding the bracket. 7 minus 2x minus 6. And we can write it in the form y equals mx plus c. So y equals minus 2x plus 1. So there's our Cartesian equation. When we have trigonometric equations, so here our parameter is theta, so we're going to eliminate theta. We've got x equals sine theta, y equals cos theta. We use the identity sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals 1. So we rearrange this to make it sine squared theta, rearrange this equation to make it cos squared theta, and substitute them both in to the identity. So if we square both sides, we get x squared equals sine squared theta. If we square both sides here, we have y squared equals cos squared theta. So we've got sine squared theta, so I can substitute sine squared theta for x squared. I can substitute cos squared theta for y squared. And I would have eliminated theta. So sine squared theta is x squared. Cos squared theta is y squared equals 1. And there's our equation. So with trigonometric equations, trigonometric parametric equations, we use the identities to eliminate the parameter. Okay, two more questions here. So find the Cartesian equation of the line given by the parametric equations, x equals t plus 3 and y equals 2t plus 11. So for this first question, we're going to make the top equation equal to t. So if we take away 3 from both sides, subtract 3, we get x minus 3 equals t. So we could just substitute x minus 3 in for t on the second equation, and we would have eliminated t. So y equals 2 times x minus 3 plus 11. If we expand the bracket to simplify it, we've eliminated t at this stage, so we've got a Cartesian equation, but we're going to simplify it. So 2x minus 6 plus 11, which is 2x plus 5. So our Cartesian equation is y equals 2x plus 5. The second equation here is a trigonometric one. So we've got or two equations, two trigonometric equations. And with trigonometric equations, we almost always use the identity sine squared t plus cos squared t equals 1 to eliminate our parameter to eliminate t. So we're going to need one of these equations to be sine squared t equals, the other one to be cos squared t equals, and then we can substitute them in. So for the y equation, that's easy. If we square both sides, y squared equals sine squared t. So we can grab that y squared, 
substitute it in for sine squared t and we would have eliminated the sine squared t. For the x, it's a bit harder. So we've got x equals tan t. How can we make that cos squared t? So we're going to have to change x to, to get a cos. We'll change it to sine over cos. So now we've got a cos t. If we multiply both sides by cos t, so x cos t equals sine t, and divide both sides by x cos t equals sine t over x, and then square both sides, so we've got cos squared t. Cos squared t is sine squared t over x squared. So we can substitute this in for cos squared t. So if we substitute them in now, we've got y squared plus sine squared t over x squared equals 1. But we've still got a t. Um, we've still got sine squared t, but we know sine squared t is y squared. So we can substitute y squared in there. y squared equals, no, y squared plus y squared over x squared equals 1. So we've eliminated t, so we've got our Cartesian equation. We could leave it there, or we could try and simplify it. If we were asked for it in the form y equals f of x, we'd have to rearrange to make it y equals, which we could do in this case. Um, but we'll leave it there. We'll leave it as it is. So we've eliminated our t. So we've got a Cartesian equation. We weren't asked to put it in a specific form, so we'll leave it as it is. Okay, two more questions. So pause the video, give these ones a go, and then press play when you're ready to go through. Okay, so the first set of equations, we're going to make an equation equal to t. So if I half both sides of the top equation, x over 2 equals t. And then we're just going to substitute that in to our second equation. So y equals 4 times x over 2 squared plus 6 times x over 2 minus 4. So x over 2 squared, I put x over, I'm going to scribble it up here, x over 2 squared. So if I, that means x over 2 times x over 2 which is x squared over 4. So 4 times x squared over 4 is just x squared. 6 times x over 2, 6 over 2 is 3, so 3x plus 4. So y equals x squared plus 3x plus 4. For the second one, again, we've got a trigonometric one, so we'll use the identity sine squared t plus cos squared t equals 1. And we'll rearrange one of the equations to be sine squared t, one to be cos squared t, and then substitute them in. So for the x one, we plus 1 to both sides. x plus 1 equals 2 sine t. Divide both sides by 2, so x plus 1 over 2 equals sine t and then square both sides so x plus 1 squared over 4 equals sine squared t so that's that part done and then for the y same thing so plus 2 to both sides y plus 2 equals 3 cos t divide both sides by 3 y plus 2 over 3 equals cos t, and then square both sides. So y plus 2 squared over 9 equals cos squared t. So we can substitute that one in as well. So we have x plus 1 squared over 4 plus y plus 2 squared over 9 equals 1. 
I think it's best if we leave it like that. So we've eliminated our t, we've eliminated our third variable, so that is our Cartesian equation.